What's up everyone? This is Mitch here with another Logic tutorial. Um, this tutorial uh, is, is, is kind of special to me. One, uh, I am over 15,000 views on my channel. Holy shit. And I have over 100 subscribers. So, holy balls, dude. This shit's getting real. So, um, I'm going to try to make some more uh, um, less... Um, like major topics, even though those are very good to know. Um, but 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 more like smaller like uh, like little tricks and tips, uh, just because some of the things that I do um, might be specific to me only, and maybe that's why you're watching this channel to get those things that nobody else has. So um, I'm gonna just kind of start showing you uh, small little 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 things that I can do to songs that uh, make them. You know, sound a little bit better, a little bit different than anyone else's. Uh, but I don't want you to be copying my style, because shit's going down then. Don't do that. Okay? Don't copy anyone's style. It's not good. You want to be original. But, for the sake of learning, I'm going to show you this new... Uh, not It's not new, but I'm, I'm going to show you this technique. Um, it, it, it's uh, more of a vocal technique. It's going to be... Um, using the vocal transformer to uh, have a little bit fun with pitch and so you can edit things and make it sound a little bit, you know, ballin'. So uh, I'm going to let you listen to uh, the first section of the song because uh, right down here, there's these little vocal audio files right here. This is what I want you to be listening for. This is what I'm going to teach you today is right there. So let's go. Okay, there it was. I'm going to solo it out so you can hear it even a little bit better. Okay, so this is going to be combining um, a couple little parts. Uh, I'm going to be taking a sample of audio. I'm going to be repeating it. I'm going to open this up a little bit. I'm going to be repeating it multiple times. And as you can see, even on the last one, um, I took from another tutorial how to speed up and slow down. Uh, that's the speed up and slow down tutorial. I'm going to be slowing down that end um, audio file uh, to get that like show the little ending. You can hear it. So um, if you don't know how to do that, my tutorial should be right, right there. I'll put a little link there for you. And uh, Besides that, uh, let's get going. Um, what I have on this channel is a vocal transformer, which I'm going to be showing you, and a space designer for a little bit of reverb, a little bit more of uh, um, some depth. That's basically why I have it on there. Okay. And what this vocal transformer does is it's pretty sweet. You can put it on any, um, any vocals, and it sounds sweet. I haven't actually had the chance to put it on... Um, something besides vocals. I'm sure you could get some weird um, different sounds out of this for sure. Okay, But basically what you have here is um, a pitch to the left, format and to the right. And in the middle you have this um, option to robotize a voice. And when you do that you can track it differently. Um, this is always fun to mess with, uh, see what different sounds you can get out of it. But I had my uh, robo ties off, and I had my signal all the way to wet. Because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, automating this pitch over here on the left every single time. As you can see, um, if, if you go back and listen to it, um, my pitch goes up every single time this audio file plays. And what I'm going to be doing is automating this pitch to go up every single time. And um, what I don't want any of that original um, audio file in there, so um, I'm moving it all the way up to 100% wet. Okay, and then the next thing to do is come down here, press A, and you are in your automation. Now I'm going to go to, um, well, first off, what you're going to need to do uh, is you're going to come to Vocal Transformer, and then you want to go down to Pitch. My pitch has already been on there, and I've already edited it. But as you can see, all you need to do is press escape, 
and then I would marquee tool it and then you can select an audio that you would want escape one to get back to your pointer and then you can drag up and down the pitch wherever you want it to be and that's exactly what I did for this first one I am at zero next one I'm at plus three next one I'm at plus six next one I'm at plus nine and I keep that for the last two okay and on the last one I have that slowing down effect and what this gives you is a nice um, increase in pitch every single time this clip of audio plays um, and that's how I get that sound beautiful I know so check it out guys this is this can be put to anything you can you can chop up an audio sample um, mess with the pitch of it and you get something completely different from the original it's beautiful this this little part is it's not even I cut it out of a, a larger audio file you can do this to anything um, so just keep that in mind whenever you have a long audio file and you're like I cannot use this for anything step back and try cutting it into pieces trying to extract something that might work and then do something with that um, extraction there's always something you can do and be creative that's how you get ahead in the music game the more creative you are the more original you are um, the more people will listen to your stuff and you don't want to be copying people by any means but um, this is always a good technique to have in your toolbox um, a little bit of pitch transformation so thanks for watching guys um, I should have another tutorial up pretty soon I have a couple of other ideas on things um, that I would like to show you peace out